हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीटिंग्स फॉर मीडिया दिस इज निर्भय चौहान फॉर मेक लव वे सेल्फ लर्निंग टूटोरियल्स वेल टूडे इन दिस टूटोरियल विच इज द फिफ्थ वन इन आवर सीरीज टेक्ट्रॉफ ऑफ बिम फुल कोर्स वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल द एस्पेक्ट अबाउट द डायमेंशनिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इन द टेक्ट्रॉ वर्क बेंच ओके इन द प्रीवियस टूटोरियल वी डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लिपिंग द क्लिपिंग ऑब्जेक्ट एज यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज अ क्लिप so to know about no more more about it you may feel free to refer the previous tutorial which is 004 all about uh, clips uh, the link is there above in the in the window of the screen so now uh, in this particular tutorial we are main concerning about dimensions about different uh, aspects and the different kinds of dimension that we have so you can see them here also in the top a ribbon a space or here in the menu ribbon you see this tech draw make sure you have this tech draw workbench open and here you can scroll to dimensions and here you have all the dimensions which are there to be used in tech draw workbench so let's start with it without any wait so at first if we zoom on to this view the first dimension that we have is the length dimension this is helpful if you want to suppose make any dimension between two points irrespective uh, of their orientation or align uh, length overall irrespective it is horizontal or vertical it may be slanted because for horizontal and vertical we have these two dimension which i will definitely discussing after this but this is something which will give you actual length of a line or between two points so suppose i select this particular line and i click on this length component which gives me a dimension 15.8 feet as i'm working in the feet overall fine or what you can do is i'll just on my frames and you can see i'll click on these two points and just say the dimension it says need two words is okay i switch i forgot to uh, click on control so click on this hold your control key and select this uh, op, uh, point and then click on that option at which give you same dimension so it's up to you you can use points also it's beneficial when you need to do, uh, use points or you can use the line uh, length also wherever applicable uh, now to showcase you um, the overall aspect suppose i can give you here for time being the vertical dimension also using the same tool so what will i do is basically uh we can select this particular column okay uh and i'll click on this dimension so this gives me 8 feet overall okay and this is exactly what we are needing so this can be used for both the directions and if in case you need something diagonal so diagonal can be uh suppose this is our room and you need from here to here i'll switch on the points here yeah. so this length from this point to this length uh, this point the diagonal length of the room so i'll select this point hold control key and select this point and then i'll click on this and you get your overall length of your diagonal length of your room so this is how you can use it the first one which says the length of a line basically or length a uh, dimension between two points and if you want to know about the parameters and the properties you can see here in data properties you have the reference 2d which is obviously the section which we have referred the points you have the type the distance okay measure type projected so this is also okay need not to touch theoretical exact which is also okay uh tolerances are there inverted if you want suppose i make it to true and then it is inverted it is in the minus direction so you're not going for that it's false right now then you have xy position you want to log the dimension or not uh when you're done with the overall project it's okay if you want to log uh, but dimensions can be kept freely it is fact of the views where views you can keep as log which are covered in the previous one of the tutorial and then you have label what label do you want to give a dimension the tree view right now it says um if the section bb it's contained here 
and one more thing the mentions uh, when done on a view they become child of their particular view so here the section bb is a parent and this particular dimension has become child of it okay and then in the view um, you can enter the color of the dimension if you want um, suppose i want to give it this blue color and you can see which is blue is fine but uh, by default black color is something okay which we usually use in our normal standards for the dimensioning and then you have the font style whichever do you want to use which are pre-contained with this so sigoi ui is okay a standard for, for, standard for us the rendering thing is is also okay so these are defaults uh, the st uh, standard and style this is something which we have discussed in our second tutorial for the preferences but i can show you still also iso referencing is something which become like this okay asme inlined is this one the dimension basically comes in between your uh, the line the dimension line and referencing is this one okay so it's up to you we are going with iso uh, oriented iso reference is this one so oriented oriented is quite okay for us and then these were the properties basically which are there for dimensions and moving forward same properties will be applicable now going to the other dimension groups uh, dimension objects we have here horizontal dimension as the name says it is a dimension between two points or an individual line which is horizontal so suppose i want to get the dimension or i should say the thickness of my parapet so what i can do is i can select this line also if it's individual or the both the points okay and then click on this dimension and you can adjust like this so this is 0.4 feet you can adjust like this this is how you get horizontal dimension okay we'll move quickly it's quite a simple one then you have the vertical dimension which is between uh, two points and a vertical orientation so for this we can refer the overall height so that can be taken with the use of points right now or if you want to uh, know the internal height of your room so you can uh, take use of that suppose the internal line this one i'll click here and make this dimension so this says me this is 10 feet all right so i can put it here or here which is okay and this if i want to take it outside to something like this so it was okay here only okay and this is your 10 feet so this was the vertical dimension now you have a dimension basically for the radius so one thing uh, you have noticed in my this particular uh, door if you have been following earlier i have inserted these two components if you see these pads uh, basically to showcase the use of radial dimension because we didn't have any round surface in our project so now i'll show you how you can do that so here if you see these are two round objects and we can take the circular dimension also so this says it takes a radius dimension so i'll click on the circular object and click on this object dimension object and this gave me the radius of my circular pad fine and the second one second pad i can use it for this other dimension which says it gives you the diameter dimension the double of radius obviously so it will be two feet yeah and here you get as two feet and then you can orient as per your own convenience this is also quite easy one then you have an angular dimension which says insert angle dimension so this is pretty simple simply you have to select two lines between which you want the angle so here we can take use of um, you can take the angle between it can be helpful when you are going with a detailed dimension in a detailed view or i should say 
you can take use of this so this line hold your control key and this line and then simply press this so here you get your beautiful angle which is 90 degree you can place it here or like this also so it's up to you how you want to orient your dimension overall so you can place it like this okay uh, another one similar one is which says insert three point angle if in case you want to give angle between three points so i'll show you we'll switch off on our frames so suppose the points are these ones this point hold your control key this point and then the third this one we know it's 90 but still we can take use of this one this tool and this gives you dimension 90 so both are applicable here this can be helpful if in case i have some different types of points orientation in your view so this is clear moving forward we have an interesting dimension group here if you scroll here you have an horizontal extent and vertical extent so this is helpful uh, when you just simply select your view and you can see your endpoints of the object so it will give you uh, the dimension with respect to the overall endpoints so suppose this is my view so here you can see my extreme endpoints are lying at this edge and at this edge if i switch on my frame also you can see these are my horizontal extreme edge edges so for using this particular uh, dimension object is simply select this but any view in which you are interested so i'll set to the front view and i'll scroll here and i'll click on horizontal extent dimension and you see it is exactly between your edges the extreme horizontal edges this is coming as 21.8 feet i can place it somewhat here like this all right so the next one is for similarly for the vertical extent again simple just simply select your view and give the vertical extent so you can see this is 10.8 foot the extreme edges so we can place it like this simple easy okay good now another one we have which is an interesting dimension which says link your dimension to 3d geometry so basically here all the dimension that we're getting are quite accurate as a parametric if you'll make any changes in your 3d model like here you will definitely get the changes reflected back here but we can use here also but it is beneficial to use when you have an isometric view like this one the exometric view fine so here you can take use of this particular dimension i'll showcase you how suppose i am taking this dimension which is this one this line and i'll uh, select my length dimension of course this slanted one so this gives me 12.9 feet but if you remember carefully guys this is the same length which we used here which is 15.8 feet so this is not matching so this is a uh, not a drawback but a feature in FreeCAD that isometric views usually doesn't give you accurate dimensions but you can make it accurate how you can make it ac accurate using this command which says link geometry to uh, link your dimension to 3 geometry so how you can do this basically is just select your dimension which is this one and then we'll go to our 3d view and select the edge the corresponding edge in which we are trying to link it so the edge is of course this one hold the control key and select this edge okay this is slab's edge and then just select this particular command which says link dimension so here you get all the dimensions of your entire project obviously and then you can uh, link it so this dimension is the uh, interested one so which is dimension 0 18 the last one obviously just move it on the selected bar here on the right hand side so these are default features which you just selected the structure and the edge and then simply click ok once we click ok you can refresh your drawing and you see you get exactly the same dimension with respect to your 3d geometry so this is how your dimension has been linked so if i just show you this dimension also 
uh, which is in the exometric view which is uh, I'll just expand here so it was yeah here dimension 0 18 so in the properties if you see this has been linked directly to your C the reference 3d which says structure 001 slab h10 so this is three dimension linked also usually our dimensions are 2d linked with the face with the edge in the drawing but now this particular dimension has been linked directly to the edge or the 3d component from where the actual dimension is coming fine so this can be very helpful when taking use of dimension in exometric view then you have a component which which is the insert balloon notation uh, but we'll be taking this in our upcoming tutorial which is for the annotations as technically in a tetra uh, menu if you see in it comes in annotation insert balloon annotation so uh, for that purpose we won't be taking it here but it will be there in the next tutorial uh, and at the last you get an interesting another interesting dimension which is insert landmark dimension so this is an experimental feature but i'll showcase you how exactly that is work okay so what does it say is basically this is a dimension which is between two points so i'll showcase what i'll say suppose i click here it will see me selecting object first so theoretically it needs two point objects point is points need to be your part vertices or your draft points just like i have model for you guys here these two points these are the draft points you can see these these are draft uh, draft object points so to make this dimension what you simply need to do is you select your points fine and then you select the interested view suppose section aa i am interested in so from tree view i'll select the view in which i'm interested okay the points this view in my uh, drawing and then i'll click on this dimension object and then you can see I got the dimension here so its purpose is basically uh, formed for the topological issues basically to get exact dimension from some random points if you have in your actual workspace but you can again take use of the drawing objects as well but uh, it's okay if they have included this feature so you can see section a a a we have got this particular drawing so if you see clearly you're not able to see this point because those points are basically the part they become part of the frame so if i just switch on these frames here you can see the same points are getting here but it's better to uh, get your points in your or your objects basically in your particular uh, level or the building part and then create whatever, whatever dimension do you need okay so this was the landmark dimensions so uh, taking into account all the dimension objects we have covered uh, the dimension so far in this so just do practice this the file of this is this particular tutorial is available in the link below in the description so do download that just see how things are have, have been done and do practice the dimensions also they're quite straightforward uh, requiring the particular standards if as per your own convenience so this was it guys in this tutorial see you in the next one um till then take care goodbye this was nirvi johan thank you so much